Macon Bibb County activists say they plan to ask the county again to pass an anti-discrimination ordinance this year. Caitlin Sabater spoke with supporters on their first steps in the process. Najiva Timothy is a diversity inclusion trainer in Central Georgia. At first, it, I, I was perplexed by the whole situation. So when she found out former Mayor Robert Rickard vetoed the anti-discrimination ordinance last year, she couldn't believe it. When it's something that could bring about unity within the community. The local law would have banned discrimination in employment, housing, and public accommodations based on race, sexual orientation, gender identity, and other factors. Bibb County commissioners approved the ordinance 5-3. to three. But former Mayor Rickard ultimately vetoed it, writing that it was too rushed. I'm not sure if everyone even knows what the ordinance was all about. One of the activists who supported the law, Andrea Cook, agrees. One of the criticisms of, of the last attempt was that people just didn't know enough about what comprehensive civil rights were. It's why supporters say this time they're focusing on explaining the law first. This educational opportunity is removing that barrier of the unknown. A panel of lawyers, community organizers, and religious leaders are speaking at a two-day online conference, breaking down comprehensive civil rights at the local level. The biggest misconception is that this ordinance is just about one specific group of people. Cook wants everyone in the community to join, not just supporters. It's not just for... Um, some of us, it's really about bringing us all together. Timothy plans on attending. I think people should come out, listen, um, be slow to speak, and listen to what everyone has to say. In Macon, Caitlin Sabater, 13 WMAZ News. We reached out to several county commissioners who opposed the ordinance last year and a minister who spoke against it. Commissioner Valerie Wynn responded by email saying she would vote against it again. She says it's unnecessary because there are already federal anti-discrimination laws. She declined to speak to us on camera. Supporters say a local ordinance would save victims of discrimination the time and expense of taking the case to federal court. If you'd like to find out more about the virtual event, check out our website at 13wmaz.com.